comfortably numb. David Gilmore playing guitar here. Some of the greatest guitar playing you're ever going to hear. You know, these two solos are always at the top of all the guitar poles of the greatest solos of all time. And for a reason, you know, I mean, it's just great playing. And of course, he uses a strat when he plays this, and he's got the bar. Uh, but for those of us who don't have a bar, you know, we have to kind of get a get away with just using finger vibrato and you can do it you can definitely do it okay nobody's gonna sound like he does and unless you're him and that's you know what makes him so great is he's got that touch that is just so unique and so good he plays with such great feel so anyways we're gonna get through this on the last Paul here so we're gonna start it's in the key of D and we're gonna start up here on E14 and we're just gonna rake into that and try and get some vibrato on it, okay? I kind of do more of a circular type vibrato when I'm on those E strings, uh, high E, you know? Okay, and then we're gonna go just a half step bend. And then we're gonna go full step bend on B15. And it's kind of like a you know, vibrato that trails out. Like so, right? And then we're going to go... Okay. It's just like an A chord, right? It's an A arpeggio because, you know, we're on the A chord there. And like a lot of really good guitar players, you know, he uses a lot of chord tones. Okay, and when he goes, it's not even, you know, like a lot of guys will go, you know, even, but it's, it's more delayed. It's like da, 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 right? Instead of da, 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 it's da, da, da. Now we're going to slide that down. Put vibrato on it, right? Then we're going to go back up here, rake into it again, and then a full step band of B15 again. Okay, so what we're doing there is another A arpeggio, um, kind of bend it and release it. Okay, and just the A triad. Just sliding down there to uh, D11. And then we're going to go to the A twice. The A note here on D7, or you could do it here on A12. Okay, now live. You'll, you'll add that B note, but on the studio recording, it's definitely two A's. And then I slide back up to that G note on G12. And put vibrato. Well, you start out like, add the vibrato later, right? Now, a lot of guys will go, You could do it that way, you know. I I like to do it this way. Okay, now we're gonna go just down from G11, G9, G7. We kind of mute that, you know, with our right hand as we play them, right? Try and get that vibrato, right? And then just da -da -da, pull it off, right? Slide it down. And then we're going to go just to pull off, right? G9, G7, D7. Go back up. 
Now we're gonna pull this one. Well, I pull it, you could push it. Pushing up to the G note, a, a half step bend, right? And when you get it, you know, it's a slow bend, right? I do it the other way. And then we're gonna do this arpeggio again. Which is like a G major ar arpeggio, right? With that major seventh in it. So you're gonna go, just pull off from uh, E15 to E14. Pick E12. Pull off from B15 to B12. Now, I use my middle finger here to get the G note on G12. Back to my third finger on D12, but it doesn't matter. You use whatever fingers you want, right? And then, just D10, D9. Okay, and then we're gonna go just Okay, so Right? And the last phrase is just bending up here on G ten with vibrato. And then down here on G9. Pull off to G7. And slide up to D9. Down to D7. Okay, and that's the solo. Again, you know, there's nothing technically really super hard about it, but it's it's a hundred percent feel. And um, you know, being able to bend in tune. Uh, getting a good vibrato and uh, you know that, that kind of stuff is huge I think it's really overlooked by a lot of guitar players who just want to uh, go fast right and you know playing fast it's like typing you know there's really all it takes is practice um, there's lo no feel in playing fast right it's just technique it's just typing basically but to play with feel whole different ball game right completely different thing and I know that my favorite guitar players play with great feel. And, you know, David Gilmore, um, you know, the Hotel California solo is a great solo for feel. Don Felder and Joe Walsh. And, uh, you know, Joe Satriani plays with great feel. Uh, one of the best feel guitar players ever is Eddie Van Halen, right? I mean, yeah, he's got the tapping and the speed and everything else, but it's the feel that separates these guys. These kind of solos really important I think to work on these and uh, to get your feel, your vibrato, your bends. Okay anyways hope you get something out of the lesson. I'm gonna do the um, second solo next, uh, the more extended solo and that is just a fantastic solo. It's so much fun to play that. A lot of great licks and uh, so yeah I'll be doing that one soon. Anyways hope you get something out of it. I'll talk to you next time.